Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be discussing current tax expense, how it is that you calculate that. This, the numbers in this video are gonna be based on IS 12 illustrative example two. So all the detail of where the numbers are coming from, you can find in that example. I'm just going to be going through the key principles and how you should be approaching the question. So let's get started. Now the key principle uh, is found in IAS 12 paragraph 58 and the key principle here basically says that current and deferred tax should be recognized in profit or loss if the underlying transactions originated in profit or loss. So as I always say to put it simplistically the tax must go wherever the transaction went. So if the underlying transactions arose in profit or loss then the tax must be recognized in profit or loss as well. Current tax is calculated on profits that are generated for the period. So the way that we calculate our current tax is we normally start with our accounting profit before tax and then we um, would adjust it for differences between accounting and tax and then calculate our current tax from that. Okay, in that case, the current tax that we calculate would all be recognized in profit or loss because it relates to items that originated in profit or loss or at least we'll recognize in profit or loss. Okay, so therefore our current tax expense will be recognized in profit or loss, as I just said. Now, in terms of illustrative example two, the important parts that are relevant to current tax are as follows. If we read the question, we see that PPE assets are being depreciated at a different rate when we compare to the tax allowances. So that means that from an accounting perspective, we are depreciating our assets very different to the way the revenue authorities are giving us um, deductions um, or allowances at least. So that means that when we calculate our current tax expense, we need to take into account those adjustments because there's a difference between our accounting and our tax treatment. Also, we see that char charitable dona donations, sorry, charitable um, donations and fines are not deductible for tax purposes. So those would need to be um, reversed out of um, profit or loss. And then we would need to, um, yeah, we, we cannot in include that in our profit our taxable income, sorry, um, calculation. Our product development costs were deducted when they were paid. Okay, um, so that means we, in the question they told us in X2, we incurred these costs and they were all, um, we were given a deduction when they were paid in cash. However, those costs were actually capitalized and they are amortized over five years. So every year we see an amortization expense coming through profit or loss, but there's going to be no related tax treatment because it's already been deducted for tax purposes. So that means that we are going to have to make sure that we adjust um, our accounting profit to take into a, the, to account that we are no longer receiving deductions for the amortization expense. Um, healthcare benefits are only deducted when paid. So healthcare benefits changed from last year to the current year. So the liability was previously 2000 and then in the current year, the liability was 3000. So that means there was a movement of 1000 that must have gone through the income statement. And because we're only going to get the deduction when it is paid, we would have to reverse the, the effect thereof. The tax rate also changed, and so this is um, this is important in a, in a current tax perspective because we need to make sure that when we're calculating the current tax for X5, we use 40%, and for X6, we actually use our 35%. So in terms of how you approach uh, your current tax calculations, I think um, this is sort of the standard approach. If you can remember these things and go through it in this order, then you should be fine. So the first thing is you need to start with your profit before tax. Of course, that is the starting point. Then you need to identify items where the tax treatment differs from the accounting treatment. So this is something that in your reading time you would have identified and you could perhaps use a highlighter to make sure or use a specific color to highlight things that have a different accounting and tax treatment so that those 
can stand out to you when you actually need to do the calculation. The next step is you want to reverse the accounting impact. So if there's an income or an expense that was recognized, you are going to subtract the income or add back the expense to get rid of the effect on um, profit or loss. Then you want to go and recognize the tax effect. So if there is actually a deduction from a tax perspective, you want to go and subtract that deduction at this point. And then once you've done all of this, you will have calculated your taxable profit or your taxable income, and then you can just apply your current tax rate to the taxable um, profit. Now, in terms of illustrative example two, okay, we can see that um, if we look at the tax calc, so the first things is, okay, it starts with our profit before tax. Then the question has gone and adjusted for the things that are different between accounting and tax. So the depreciation expense that was recognized gets added back. However, the allowances on PPE get subtracted at the bottom. Then we can see that our charitable donations, because those are not deducted, we need to add that back to eliminate the impact thereof. We also need to add back the fines because it was recognized as an expense, but it is not deductible for tax purposes. The product development costs, so they were being amortized at 250 per annum, so you would need to add back the product development costs because you are not getting a deduction, you've already gotten a deduction back in X2. Um, healthcare benefits. So in X5, the was the first time they recognized the liability of 2000. So there was a full 2000 expense that went through profit or loss. But in X6, we see that the carrying amount of the liability is actually 3000. So that means that there must have been a movement of 1000 recognized in the um, in the income statement. So once we've done those adjustments, we can then derive our taxable income or taxable profit. And then we need to make sure that we're applying the correct rate. So um, we apply 40% in X5 and then in X6 we apply the 30%. Okay, And that is how you calculate the current tax. If you have any questions on that, post a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye bye.